Hello, Bubbles. It's Tuesday, March 1st, and I am Jaritza. And I'm Noah. Now please stand for the pledge. Today's lunch is some delicious lasagna. Lobos, the mural contest is still going on, so if you like to paint or draw, start with the 8x11 paper and bring it to the student cultural commitment. Also, girls, if you are looking forward to playing basketball, get your physicals in ASAP. Please and thank you. Hey Lobos, we have a special open gym if you're interested to practice your basketball skills on Tuesday and Thursday at 7.30. Go and practice your basketball skills. Lobos, the school store is open every Thursday. Your books are being sold in the cafeteria today. Dr. Seuss is on Wednesday, March 2nd. Eggs will be hidden throughout the school. If you find one, bring the egg and the poem that's inside to the library to get a book only one per student. Here's a crew with a special special on Dr. Seuss. How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? I'm just following my destiny. How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? How bad can I possibly be? Well, there's a principle in nature, principle in nature. that almost every creature knows. Called survival of the fittest. And check it, this is how it goes. The animal that wins got to scratch and fight and claw and bite and punch. And the animal that doesn't, well, the animal that doesn't winds up. Someone else is a la 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 lunch. I'm just saying, how bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. Good morning, Lobos. This is Miss Ostros, principal of South Middle School, here with Mr. Tuson, assistant principal of South Middle School. Here to remind you about Read Across America Day, or here at South, we like to call it Dr. Seuss Day. On Wednesday, you will have the opportunity to find hidden eggs that have poems in there and ways to inspire you to read. You can turn those in for books at the Media Center, one per person, although I love the idea of people liking books more. Mr. Tusa and I want to share some of our favorite books. This book right here is something that has inspired me to be brave and to face some fears and to admit to things, which is still a process for me. And this one I got in our very own library. It's called Kiki Strike. And it's about this girl who is a burglar, but for all the right reasons. You can check it out in our library. Mr. Tucson, what are your favorite books? One of my favorite books is The Pact. Three young men make a promise to fulfill a dream. It's a true story of three young men who grew up in Newark, New Jersey, Rough streets, rough schools, but they made a pact with themselves to make sure that they were going to support each other to become doctors. And all three of them became successful doctors and to this day are still successful doctors giving back to the community. So, Which is what I expect from course. all of you as you make your way out into the world to come and give back to South Middle School. And one of the best ways you can do it, and you hear me say it almost every day out front, is reading. Reading is how you get your brain bigger. Thanks, folks. Is the fifth wave. Go. My favorite book is the Divergent series. My favorite book is Harry Potter. <laughs> Three. Uh, my favorite book is Hunger Games. My favorite book is Clifford the Big Red Dog. My favorite book is Dark Wicked. My favorite book is Twilight. My favorite book is Jack Bead. My favorite book is Life as We Knew It. My favorite book is If I Stay. My favorite book is Wonder. Well, another show in the can. I have no idea what you are talking about, Noe. Lobos have a great Tuesday. Peace out.